we, we feel that if you are a lending protocol, there's like a very clear conflict of interest between you being the one lending and liquidating, right? And you being the one appraising an asset, right? So that's mainly the reason why we decided to rely on third party on third parties for the appraisal, right? So we rely on Upshot, we rely on an NFT bank, Genoa, and we're implementing others. And these guys, they take into account, you know, a lot of data. Uh, they, they account for wash trading, they account for floor prices for the liquidity of a given NFT, for what is out there in like uh, automated market makers like NFTX, like PseudoSwap, et cetera, uh, what the volatility of the price has been like. And, and I'm just scratching the surface, right? They have like very, very complex and sophisticated models. And what we do is we, we basically, you know, take those into account. And, um, and, and the good thing about that is that there, there's really no conflict of interest, right? And, and we don't try to compete with other projects who are focusing 100% of their resources and time on being the best at appraising. We let them be their best and, and we rely on them, right? And then on the risk model, we basically feed all that data into us and then and then into our model and then we look at stuff like how many nfts of a given collection is being used as collateral because the more are used the more you will drive the price if you liquidate loans with that nft because of a drop in price right we look at uh stuff like volatility we look at also like at very diverse factors um and and that basically allows us to do a very risk adjusted model it might be that you don't get the highest loan to value on unlocked uh, against your nft but i would argue a, a smart nft holder would rather not get them the highest loan to value and have a much much higher chance of not being liquidated and losing their their nft than the other way around right